two very important keywords that we can use to define our logic or whenever uh, as per our need we can use them in our logic okay so the first one is continue and the second one is break so i'll tell you the difference between these two using an example so uh, as the name suggest in continue we just continue and when we encounter a break we just break out of the code so this is very simple you can uh, just understand based on the literal meanings of the words okay now let's see that in action here let's say uh, i am iterating over a range of values from 1 till 1 till 6 uh, okay and i have a condition that if i is 3 you just continue else you print i okay now if i run the code see what's happening is if i is 1 it's printing 1 for 2 it's printing 2 but for 3 it's just skipping that value it's just continuing it's not doing anything and it's printing these values actually here i don't even need else statement i can just try print i and this will also work in the same way yeah as you see now this also works in the same way for i equals equals 3 it's just skipping that iteration it's not doing anything and for other values it's printing those right now just what if i write break instead of this let's say i'm searching for i i equals to 3 and when i have found the i value when i found the required value i'm just breaking out of that code so in this case you see i have just print 1 and 2 but when i found my uh, desired value that is 3 i'm just breaking out of the code i don't need to execute my code anymore so this can be helpful in uh, searching problems whenever you are searching for something and you found it you don't need to continue your journey right you just you can just stop there whatever we have seen up until now can also be achieved using a while loop okay so i'm just moving on to while loop let's see what uh, is there in a for loop for uh, this in range we define a range let's say 11 print i so in for loop if you see what are the components you have a uh, you have a variable which holds the which iterates over a range and gets the values then you have a start value you have a stop value and you have a increment value right so step value so it all comes under range so we don't need to worry about that but in while loop it's a little different so here in for loop i have taken i explicitly uh, i have taken i implicitly actually and it uh, gets auto assigned the start value right but in while loop i have to define uh, that value explicitly so let's say index equals 0 now the syntax for while loop is while and the condition so here i have to write a condition when uh, to stop that uh, while loop because for loop stops when we have to specify the stop uh, value at for loop right but here you can uh, you if you don't know the uh, stop value you can just write a condition and it will stop whenever that condition is met so while loops are basically useful in those scenarios when you don't know when to stop you don't know exact uh, stop value 
so you can put a condition and you can stop there so here i can write when index greater than 10 you just stop okay now in for loop we have auto increment options if it want uh, if you want it to increment just by one you can leave it otherwise if you want to uh, want the values to increment by multiple uh, like 2 uh, 3 4 in that scenarios you have to define that explicitly here also in for loop also but in while loop even for a single uh, value of incrementation you have to define it so here for example i have to define index plus equals 1 so this is the basic uh, syntax of a Uh, for loop, uh, while loop. Now, if you see, I have my index defined here. I have my while loop starting here. In the while loop, I have a stopping condition. Then, whatever I want to do in that while loop, that I can do. And after that, I have to define by what value my index is changing. I have to reassign the uh, index value, right? if i show you will get exactly the same output in both the conditions so 0 what till uh, let's see okay i think this is not printing properly so for the first one i am getting 0 till 10 so this is just as we expect and for the second one okay sorry so the condition i have put wrong or i can put it while index less than 11 yeah now i am getting the output okay yeah now if i run both the programs in a single go you can see i have 0 till 10 here this is coming out of the for loop 0 till 10 then the next 0 to 10 is coming from your while loop so just to differentiate this i'm just uh, i'll just enter some stars in between yeah now everything above this star line is from for loop and everything below this star line is from while loop we get exactly the same output in both the cases the only difference is in while loop we have to define the uh, iterator value beforehand and we have to define a uh, condition and also we have to define by what value the index value is changing or your iterator value is changing the for loop is uh, normally suitable for all kind of situations while loop is mainly suitable in the situations where you do not have uh, the exact stop stop value and where you can define a certain condition and just based on that condition you want your program to run until that condition is met okay and the same thing the continue and uh, break statement will also apply in the same fashion in while loop also so i'll just quickly show you that as well if i equal equals 3 i'll take the same condition i'm going to continue okay i have index here if index equal equals to 3 i'm going to continue here uh, what happened is the program is still running even with continue statement because my index value is not getting incremented if i am moving away from this line my index value is not incrementing and hence this condition is never met and i am going to an infinite loop kind of situation 
so in this case i have to stop it explicitly uh, but in break case if you see the program is going to break and after uh, two i am getting exited from the code so that's it for uh, this tutorial we have covered the for loop and while loops and uh, going forward we'll uh, cover the list comprehension another another type of looping uh, in python but before going to that we'll just cover the list and uh, tuple sequences types and then we'll move on to list comprehensions so that would make more sense yeah